Hi, welcome to our video on recursion in Python. Now, in my earlier uh, lesson, I told you about the scenario where you are creating a recursive function and you do not provide a proper termination point for the recursion. In that uh, video, we saw that it went on indefinitely till the program terminated. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to write a proper recursion function. And for that, what you need is you need to have a proper terminating point and a n baseline value. All right. So the uh, function that we're going to be writing today is called the factorial function. In maths, uh, factorial basically means you keep multiplying uh, by one less than the current number until you reach a value of one. So for example, if I give you three, three factorial is three times two times one. If I give you 4, it will be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, as you can see, this is a good candidate for using a recursive function because I keep repeating the same operation again and again with a value that is slightly different from the previous value. All right. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's get started. Okay. So for this uh, factorial function here, I'm going to first define it here. So define factorial and the input will be a value n okay and what i'm going to do is i'm first going to put in the uh, condition that will terminate this recursion and that condition is when the n value is equals to one okay so if n uh, equals to one okay then what i have is i will return a value of one okay so this is the n case or the uh, uh, and termination point where once I reach this condition the baseline value that I will return is 1 okay so that is the uh, check to make sure that I do not continue the recursion indefinitely all right now for the next part is if I'm if I'm not yet reached the value of 1 what must I do I must uh, so they are going to do if else here so the else condition is I say the result is n multiplied by factorial of n minus 1 okay and then I will return the result here as you can see what will happen in this else condition is I will continuously call back the same uh, factorial function with one less than the current value okay with one less than the current value and finally when I return 1 then I will go backwards okay until I reach the uh, until I return the final answer okay so that is the uh, factorial function in recursive form and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to print uh, the start of program here okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the factorial function with a value of 5 Okay, so let's see what happens here. So I'm going to save this and we're going to run it. Okay, uh, sorry, I forgot to put a print here. So print factorial five. So probably I can put a statement here factorial five equals to this. Okay, so that will make it a bit uh, a lot more clearer. So let me run it now so factorial 5 is 120 okay so uh, if you try it out okay you can see that 5 times 4 is 20 20 times 3 is 60 60 times 2 is 120 120 times 1 is 120 so the value is 120 which is correct well then you have just successfully completed your first recursion program in python all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to end this video right here and in my next video, I'm going to explain to you step by step exactly what is happening here. What are the parameters that we are passing as we call ourselves recursively? And when we reach the end point, what is happening as we roll backwards? All right. So look out for that video and understand exactly what is happening in this factorial function written recursively here in Python. Thank you. Bye.
Well done, you have just successfully completed your first recursion program in Python. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to end this video right here. And in my next video, I'm going to explain to you step by step exactly what is happening here. What are the parameters that we are passing as we call ourselves recursively? And when we reach the end point, what is happening as we roll backwards? All right, so look out for that video and understand exactly what is happening in this vectorial function written recursively here in Python. Thank you. Bye.